find this lesson and other resources at abcconnectforlearning.ca. My name is Janet, and I'm the Programs Manager here at ABC Life Literacy Canada. Today, I'll be walking you through our Youth Teaching Adults lesson plan on Windows Ease of Access Center. So please note that this workshop is applicable for those who are using a desktop or laptop that is running Windows 10 or later. If you're using a MacBook or an Apple computer or laptop, no worries, we have a very similar lesson plan on Mac accessibility that's also available for you. With that, let's get started. If your computer uses Windows, you can change settings to make your computer more accessible. When a computer is accessible, it's easier for everyone to use or understand. Windows ease of access settings can change how your computer looks, sounds, and works so that it's right for you. Here's how to open Windows Ease of Access Center. I'm gonna show it to you. Open the start menu at the bottom left of your screen right here and click on the settings icon. That's the gear icon right here. There you go. In the settings window that just popped up, find and click on Ease of Access right here. So there are three ease of access sections that you can see on the left side. First one is vision right here. These settings change how your computer's screen looks. The next one is hearing. So I'm gonna scroll down to hearing, which you can see right here. These settings change how your computer sounds. And finally, if we scroll down a little more, you can see interaction. These settings change how you use your computer. We'll talk about some of these settings that you can change, but not all of them. So try changing other ease of access settings to see if they make your computer easier to use. There's a whole bunch for you to play with. So the first thing we're going to try is looking at features under vision. So look under vision on the left side menu and click on display, the first one. These settings change how big and how bright things look on your screen. So we'll start with make text bigger. Make text bigger settings let you make the text look bigger on your screen. To change all the text on your screen to a different size, move the slider to the size you want. Let's say I want it this big and click apply. There we go, you can see all the text is bigger now. To go back to the original text size, move the slider all the way to the left and click apply. Okay, so my text is back to the original size now. So how about make everything bigger? The make everything bigger setting lets you make everything on your computer bigger like windows and text. So it's not just the text, it's everything. Click on the drop down menu. So that's the downward arrow here. And choose a size. Your computer usually uses 125%. That's the one that's chosen right here. So numbers higher than 125 or 125% will make everything on your screen look bigger. So I'm going to choose 175%. You can see everything on my screen just got a lot bigger, right? Now to go back to the original size, click the drop down menu again and go back to 125%. And there we go, everything is going back to the original size now. So now let's try a feature from the hearing section of ease of access. So all of these settings were under vision. Now we're gonna move on to hearing. Under hearing in the left side menu here, click on audio. These settings help you hear things more easily and control what you hear from your computer. So let's look at make your device easier to hear. This setting lets you change the volume of your computer speakers so that sound from your computer is louder or quieter. So click on the slider under change device volume and drag it right or left to change how loud your computer speakers are. And I have headphones are, they make things pretty loud. So I'm gonna keep it at 18%. That's how loud I want mine to be. 
You can also add closed captions so that when, when you watch a video on your computer, closed captions let you read the words that people are saying in the video. So to do this, click on closed captions on the left side menu here. And you can change how your captions look by clicking on the drop down menus and choosing the color, size, and style of your captions. We're gonna make some changes here and you'll see the words right here, captions look like this. Those words will change so that you can see how the captions will look when you change the settings. So I'm going to go with red captions and you see they turned red. And I'll go back to default now. And then caption style. Now you can change the font of the captions like that. So anytime you want to go back to original settings, just click default in your drop down menus. So we've tried some of the features from the vision and hearing sections of the ease of access settings. So now let's try some of the features under the interaction section. So looking under interaction on the left side menu, let's start by clicking on keyboard right here. This setting lets you use your computer without typing on a keyboard. So click the switch under use the on-screen keyboard to make a keyboard appear on your screen. There we go, a keyboard just came up on my screen. You can type by clicking on letters with your mouse or touching your screen if you have a touch screen. So I can click, there we go. And then I can backspace to undo it. Close the keyboard by clicking on the X button in the top right corner. You can also minimize it by clicking this button right here that sort of looks like a minus sign, but I'm gonna close it by clicking X. So that's it for this video. As I mentioned earlier, I only covered a few of the features that you can change in ease of access. If you're interested in learning about some of the other settings available, check out the Youth Teaching Adults Windows Ease of Access lesson plan, which is open on my computer right here. You can see there's a whole bunch of information some of the settings that we covered today and also some extra settings that we didn't talk about today. You can see how long this lesson plan is. There's a lot of information. We also have a lesson plan on accessibility for MacBooks and Apple computers as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. 